physical activity and motivation don't exist in a vacuum and humans don't exist in a vacuum and so we have to be aware that there are social influences on our behavior on our motivation uh, and one way that we're addressing that is with our recent study which is currently ongoing which is called plan a uh, this is a study funded by the national institute of health research uh, and it's looking to develop and evaluate a peer-led intervention to increase the physical activity of girls in year eight at secondary school so this goes along the premise that if you can uh, select girls who are peer leaders or influential people within their year, train them up and encourage them to go back to their school and talk to their friends and their close peers uh, in a positive way about being physically active um, and changing their lifestyle to be healthier, then that could be a positive social influence and working through the social networks that already exist in schools rather than going in in a domineering way and, and telling people how to behave. We see in our research that uh, the degree to which people are self-determined or autonomous in their motivation, um, in that that predicts physical activity and positive outcomes more readily than when people are very controlled in their motivation. In Plan A, we've done quite a lot of work on doing this because we know that not everybody enjoys being an exerciser or doing discrete bouts of exercise. And so we try to help the peer supporters uh, tell their friends about ways to be active without being an exerciser per se. And so that might be uh, thinking about how to uh, get off the bus a stop early, to take the stairs rather than the escalator, to make sure that you break up your day with active time. The physical activity is a fairly gendered behavior. And in that, I mean that it's viewed differently th uh, from bo through boys and girls or men and women. And so girls in particular have barriers that boys don't face around uh, uh, body image, around uh, whether it's a normal thing to do as being physically active, whether being physically active is seen as something generally that boys do that girls don't, um, that they have uh, concerns around being seen to be sweaty and engaging in aggressive sports and being very competitive. Um, however, the work that we've done with girls in year eight would suggest that actually they enjoy a lot of these aspects, which traditionally um, you would see as, uh, as a kind of gendered approach to physical activity. So the girls want to be competitive, they, you know, they want to um, engage in physical activity, so it's about setting up the right structures for them to engage in it in a way that's comfortable for them um, and, and that they don't feel embarrassed or um, awkward. The degree to which people feel a sense of belonging and connectedness to the uh, people around them is very important for their well-being. Uh, and that's what we would hope to work, how we would hope Plan A would work, by uh, focusing on girls, encouraging them, their peers to be active, um, and therefore having a social norm around physical activity, rather than being isolated and seeing physical activity as something that only physically active girls do.